Hi, I'm author M.L. Tarpley, and this is Word Wanderer's Corner Book Look for the 39 Clues series. The, so the first book is called The Maze of Bones. And if you haven't heard about this series yet, it centers around a brother and sister, Dan and Amy Cahill, and they're orphaned, and their grandmother had just passed away, which, which is really sad, but it's also mysterious because when she passes away at her funeral, which is when the book starts, there's a big question. Do you want to walk away with $2 million, like $2 million, or do you want to walk away with the first clue in a, in a long line of very mysterious, hard clues for a huge, crazy, amazing, some sort of treasure? We don't even know yet, <laughs> but it's super mysterious. So that's the question. So of course, Dan and Amy, they end up taking the clue because they know it's what their grandmother Grace would want them to do and their parents. So this first book in the series is it's really fast paced and fun and like there's, you know, mystery, there's mystery, there's suspense um, because the thing is, the other part of this is they're not the only ones finding the clues. This family, this Cahill family, branches off all these different directions and includes all these amazing influential people throughout history. So they have a lot of people also in this family wanting to go after these clues and it can get pretty ruthless. <laughs> there is a uh, lots of danger. There's lots of close calls and it's one thing after another, seriously. But it kept the book really exciting. You know, the pa the pace was fast. There was all kinds of stuff going on, like left and right. And I really enjoyed the book. And so far, I have read the first four in the series. I'm going to keep reading because they're really good. Like, they're really exciting. And my favorite part about it is they take place all around the world. So the first book is, it goes, they go to Paris, France. And I have been to Paris. And so it was really cool to read, you know, about the landmarks in Paris and different things going on and I was like oh yeah I remember that I've been by there so that's really cool so if you haven't been to Paris or you haven't been to Paris it's still really cool to read this book because you can get a glimpse of another part of the world through its pages which I love and I would also say yeah so if you like fast pace mystery you know danger excitement um, you will like this series. I'm gonna say age group wise, this is a middle grade novel, a middle grade series, but I'd say um, it's probably gonna be the upper age range. I mean, you, you, you'll have like if you if you like to read a you know like gr like books that have like characters that are like 11 or 12 or 13, you could probably you know handle this book because it is it's definitely. You know, it's got complex words in it. It's fairly long, but it is really fun. So I would say it's most suited, suited for ages 10 to 13, around that age group. But I really enjoyed it, and it's by, um, I hadn't said the author. It's by Rick Rorden, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I'm, sorry Rick if I'm not, but each book in the series is written by a different author, which I thought was kind of, odd at first you know it is but as I read as I've read four books you really can't tell um, you know significantly that it's written by somebody else so that was kind of cool like to know like different authors wrote the series and did their own spin on the next storyline and like I said each book involves a different country a different clue multiple clues and it's just a really exciting series. So if you like all that stuff, then you definitely want to check out the 39 Clues series. Bye for now, guys.